is the 2024-2025 GMEA All-State Symphonic Band 11th and 12th grade snare drum etude breakdown for Jacques. Uh, this is a fun etude. I really enjoyed working this up, and um, it's pretty chopsy, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so there's not a written dynamic at the beginning. I'm just going to kind of assume about mezzo forte. Um, it's only for less than a two bars anyway, so it's not going to make that big of a difference, but I think Mezzo Forte is a safe bet there. Um, the Sforzando piano roll. So I like to start my Forte piano rolls um, with a single stroke. It kind of gives it a nice clear delineation of like this is, this is the attack and then the rolls after it, so kind of... Okay. Um, I'm doing triplet subdivision, 16 triplet subdivision for my rolls. Um, 16th notes I feel like is a little too slow at this tempo. Um, and everything around the rolls for the majority uh, when you're breaking are triplets. So you want to work with those triplets and kind of utilize that to sound a little more uh, consistent. So um, accents play a huge part in this etude. Uh, coming right out of the gate, the end of measure six, measure seven, and measure eight. Um, making sure we're getting those. So then we have another Sforzando piano roll at the end, uh, well, halfway through measure nine. Um, so again, you want to hit that with a single stroke. Okay. Um, alternating back and forth between triplets and rolls. And then we end with an accented drag. So you want to make sure you leave enough gas in the tank for that to get it above, I typically treat accents one dynamic level above uh, whatever you're playing. We come into piano, so you want these accents to be clear at 14, 15, 16, and 17. Uh, you don't want to be too loud, but I am putting a little bit of oomph into it just to make sure that there's a good delineation between the piano tap notes and the accented notes. Um, again, roughly one dynamic above the written. Um, then we have layered drags and roughs dynamically. Uh, so I play my mezzo forte halfway between the center and the edge and then go into just north of center for mezzo forte and forte. Um, I like to stick those roughs right, left, left, right. I don't like to alternate. Um, for me, it's just a little bit cleaner to do a drag um, with a single stroke before it, uh, kind of in a thinking triplet. Um, to me, one of the hardest parts is 22, uh, that whole line there, the fourth line. Um, you got to really control your dexterity and control the velocity and, uh, to get those 30 second notes out. And then you have the flam accent in the middle um, that actually turns the next measure into left hand lead. Uh, which is fine because then the last flam ends up right, which I think feels pretty good. Um, to make that roll after that cleaner, this is measure 26. Uh, note that you're going from pianissimo to piano, so you can give that roll a little bit of extra oomph there as well. Um, they'll make it a little bit cleaner so you're not trying to play like super, super, super soft. You're playing soft and then you're decrescendoing. So you've got to make sure that you give yourself room to decrescendo there. Okay? Then we crescendo back quickly in 29, but not too loud, only mezzo forte, okay? Then we have this cool flam pattern, um, super E. Both these flam patterns, this one at 33 and then the other one at 42 are super easy to rush if you're not careful, okay? So make sure you're practicing that with a met. Um, and then you got these groupings, four notes, six notes, four notes, six notes, four notes, six notes, right? So making sure we're not losing count there, okay? Um, you could stick 37, 38, 39 a couple of different ways. Um, you can play, I prefer to play the flam right. So I'm going right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, okay? Um, it's... I'm treating that crescendo, I'm getting a little bit louder than mezzo piano, um, just to kind of emphasize the volume increase, and then coming back down to mezzo piano at the beginning of, or the end of 41. Um, and then these flams are accented, which is awesome uh, at 42, you can kind of, it helps you play those very clear. Um, I'm doing the last two in a row, both right. Then... 
when we get to 40, let's see, 49, 80, 46, the piano roll, um, I'm coming up pretty high, right? Okay, so I'm coming up pretty high there um, just to accentuate those crescendos. And then it also has a bigger effect when you drop back down the piano after the crescendos. Okay, then we've got a long crescendo at the last line all the way to fortissimo. So you want to save a little bit and make sure that that's your loudest dynamic in the whole piece. Except with the exception of obviously you're matching the, uh, the first line fortissimo with a little bit extra because of the accent. Okay. Um, so really, if you really work the 22 through 25, the whole 30 second note pattern going into the triplets, I think that's probably the hardest section uh, just to keep it controlled and keep it at the appropriate dynamic. Um, so you really want to work on that section um, and everything else. You know, like, like we said, the accents are super important. Um, dynamics are always important. Uh, and yeah, this is a really fun etude. So I hope you have fun with it as well.